Unfortunately, guys, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference between a Democrat and a bishop. The only difference is really the, the mitre and crozier. Now, for, unfortunately, bishops will sometimes give silence to the bishops and not call – bishops will, will give silence to the Democrats. Right. They just won't call them out. But sometimes they are in complete lockstep. Um, there is an unholy alliance between the left and modern-day Judases. While U.S. Catholics are leaving Holy Mother Church in droves, bishops are helping escort hundreds of thousands of illegal immigrants into the country every year. Immigration was a top theme at the We Stand America event in McAllen, Texas. Craig Hudgens, a Marine veteran and a faithful Catholic, spoke to Church Milton about his experience fighting battles in which the bishops are actually on the opposite side. Our Catholic Church has, uh, in many cases, paid for hotels to be filled with, with uh, people coming across the border. They've done it all through the South area, and, and, and then they facilitated the movement of those individuals to the various communities. Now, the Catholic Church has aided and abetted criminal activity by doing what they're doing. Those NGOs, the non-governmental organizations that are working with the government, that are Catholic organizations, they've done things, spending money that you gave them to be able to use what you thought was going to be good measures, good things, but in re they, they just used it for their own wanton concepts of product, you know, uh, of just uh, you know, evil, evil designs. One of those NGOs the bishops use is Catholic Charities. Many of the faithful believe the group is anything but Catholic. Catholic Charities is one of the, in my opinion, where I've seen, they're one of the largest facilitators of this human trafficking that's going on. They get government contracts to help facilitate all of these young UACs coming across the border. They put them through their facility. They find foster homes for them. They're not being vetted. They give them new clothing. You'll, you'll see that on the aircraft, they'll get clothing, shoes, backpacks, all of that. And then they just funnel them out to whoever. As reported in August 2015, for instance, Catholic Charities was discovered to be a dues-paying member of the Coalition on Human Needs, a group that publicly advocates for abortion funding. Bishops selling out our blessed Lord isn't anything new. Judas monetarily benefited with 30 shekels. But the U.S. bishops today make a very pretty profit from the federal government. That figure, if we can freeze that, guys, for a moment, please, that figure right there, that the two, is not, that's not $2,022.10. Oh. These numbers are in the millions. Yeah. So that is two billion, twenty-two million, hundred thousand dollars. That's two over two billion dollars the U.S. bishops have received from the federal government between 2008 and 2015. You sort of go through those for for housing? immigration, housing, housing, transportation. A large part of the over two billion dollars goes to Catholic charities. Church Milton also had the chance to ask Heather Hobbs some questions. Heather is a mother of five and survivor of rape, who speaks around the country against the evil of abortion. As a non-Catholic Christian, even she knows about Catholic Charities' fixation with illegal immigration. I know when I got down here to the border, I had various police officers, border agents, and, and many of them Catholics say, stay away from Catholic Charities because they are encouraging the human trafficking and drug epidemic that we're seeing, which is obviously very anti-Christian, anti-America. Anti in 2020, the CEO of Catholic Charities in Eastern Washington, Ron McCann, signaled his great virtue by calling himself a racist after George Floyd was killed. I am a racist. That's the hard truth. I am a racist. How could I not be? Unfortunately, McCann didn't stop there. He claimed Holy Mother Church herself is racist too. My Catholic Church and my Catholic Charities organization is racist. How could they not be? Our Catholic faith tradition was built on the premise that a baby born in a manger in the Middle East was a white baby. Illegal migration has consequences, sometimes deadly. Charles Galloway was a constable in Houston, Texas. On Sunday morning, January 23rd, he was shot dead by an illegal immigrant.